Hello everybody, I am Oswika Hussain and I am from Guwahati. I am a student counsellor and an academic advisor since last nine years. I thank the entire unit of Envo Project Talks and Mr. Salim that he has asked me to speak on student welfare today. So I would like to start today with the basic questions which I come across while counselling or any kind of session with a parent or a student. Today the basic problem is that we don't know that how to associate our happiness with success and success with happiness. That's the reason I get a lot of enquiries, a lot of parents and a lot of students who comes with the very common question that will I be happy if I choose this career all throughout my life or will I, will I be uh, successful or will I be complete will I attain happiness all throughout my life if I choose this college no college no brand name no institution can determine the level or the ratio of success in one's life that has to be very clear among all the students. One more important point is that there are two types of mindset in a student that is fixed mindset and one is growth mindset. So what happens when one has a fixed kind of mindset? He or she, uh, they, they have preconceived notion regarding a brand name of a college or a brand name of an institution. They think that if I go and study there, if I uh, take an admission there, or if I spend my academic dinner there, I can attain the happiness and fulfillment in life. Maybe there are people who has achieved that, doing, doing that. But according to my observation and according to some studies, we have seen that students who have the fixed kind of mindset are most reserved students. They have a problem. They have a problem that they are shy away from challenges. They can't accept failures. Whereas in a growth mindset, the student evolve eventually from mistakes, from failures. And for them, no brand name or no any particular college uh, have any meaning like they can attain success or they can have whatever they want with any college they go and take admission there are parents who comes to me and they say that uh, my my ward is uh, uh, pretty confused regarding you know where to take admission uh, their friends have taken admission somewhere else in big big brands and all I'm, I'm not saying here that it's, it's wrong taking admission in bring it big institutes or big brand names. But the thing is that a person should know by himself or herself where he is more suitable, where he can attain the success and where he can have the happiness of, you know, learning and understanding and attaining the education. There are a lot of examples in our lives. There are a lot of college dropouts, university dropouts who have attained success in life. And here I would say that we have to keep happiness in the front row to attain the success. We have a habit of putting out success in front of happiness. That is the sole reason we are unable to satisfy ourselves. There are live examples, there are many biographies where, which we come across. I can take out some, some names like Tim Cook, from, uh, CEO of Apple, uh, who studied in uh, Auburn University. Uh, he, was a college, he was a university dropout. Sergey Brim of Google, Annie uh, Sweeney, president of Disney. All, all these famous personalities, Sachin Tendulkar, there are famous personalities from media, 
from film industry from sports industry from education industry where they evolve themselves having a growth mindset there are different kind of methods where people use to make decision one of such method is heuristic method where it is a form of judgment and a decision making process which is also known as mental shortcuts that usually involve focusing on one aspect of a complex problems and ignoring others what happens basically is that when a person follow this method he or she basically ignores the other fruitful or other negative aspects which can happen after making a decision and here i would like to point your decision making is very important to understand what you really prioritize to keep in your life to attain happiness and success that is the reason i have point out this method because lot of students and lot of people and parents also nowadays falls using uh you know into this method because they don't have belief in themselves they don't have believe that whether if they choose this thing that will help them to attain that sort of happiness or that sort of success which they have been thinking come on let us think one way uh that from mozart to einstein they have learned from their failures it's not like in one attempt einstein was able to do the thing which he has done it's not in one time in one stroke how uh you know people has attain success in life in order to have a successful life my point is that you have to keep happiness in forefront you have to be happy in what you do in what you choose in what you learn and where you are i am giving you a very uh, easy method where you can use while making any kind of decision in your life you just have to remember few alphabets that is p e r m a yes you heard that right that is p e r m a you can uh, club it as a word like parma so here p stands as positive emotions whenever you are going to do something or whenever you are selecting something in your life whether it be a student or an individual doesn't matter whatever you are going to choose just evaluate yourself whether you are having that positive emotion getting yourself associated with that that very thing or not you can evaluate by that e stands for engagement in your life it is not that you have to limit yourself just with academic things or just with you know the job or the responsibilities you are shouldered you can engage yourself in some creative in some uh, good things in life which can enhance your capabilities your reach your outlook it can change your whole outlook towards life the alphabet r stands for relationships you have to trust the relationships that surrounds you that can be if i'm saying about a student that has to be uh, the parents of course you have to trust your parents that they are taking the right decision for you you have to trust your teachers your mentors if an individual is starting any kind of new job or um, any business unit they have to trust their partners they have to trust their well wishers that is an another way where you can create a positive vibe around you the alphabet m which is very important that stands for meaning you have to evaluate you have to understand whatever you are striving to do whatever you want to do does that hold any kind of meaning in your life 
or will that hold any kind of meaning in others life as well if that is beneficial for you and also for others go for it the last that is accomplishment you have to feel that within yourself so these letters you have to basically i actually suggest my students also during my counseling sessions that you have to focus on these alphabets while choosing or while going to uh, any anything any prospect in life right now i am associated with a civil service uh, uh, training hub where i come across lot of enquiries from students because they fail in their first attempts or they are unable to cope up with the mental pressure they are cope uh, they are unable to cope up with the pressure from their parents so i just say one thing to them that is you have to keep believing yourself first because these years are growth years and here when i mention growth years is that the years where you are planning to mold up your career so you have to be very much attentive you have to have that ability of grabbing the positive things in your life so the civil service aspirants also they have that problem like they they come with an issue they are not able to select the subjects they are not able to uh, cope up with the mental pressure they are having i just i just suggest to all the students not only the civil a uh, uh, civil service aspirants but all the students who are um thinking of going for you know mbbs engineering management programs or any kind of uh, artistic careers they want to ad adopt is that if you look at this alphabets you can find and you can reach out a way in your lives and the most important is that the power of belief in yourself has to be from within you can be admitted you can you can get admission in a very good college but then if you don't have the belief to perform that belief to shine no college no mentor no teachers even not your parents can help you so the key inside the whole thing of happiness is the belief the game inside that is of fixed mindset and the growth mindset which i have said and discussed in the first part of our discussion so to all the students or to all over uh, all all who who have been watching this video i would suggest to have a growth mindset so that you keep growing keep evolving and place your happiness in front of everything because if you are happy then only you can achieve the fulfillment in life so there ha there shouldn't be any confusion like uh, if i am successful then only i will be happy or if i am happy i am successful no this shouldn't be the confusion there there is a straight thing that is if you are happy from within if you are happy with what you are doing if you are happy in selecting and you are happy surrounding in the surrounding which you want to be you can achieve the happiness and success parallelly so for today i will wind up this video i hope this is of some use for you all um let's see if i can come up with some more interesting topics or more in interesting suggestion or any kind of some uh, good sessions with you all thank you stay safe in this period bye bye